What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I wanted to show you guys this for a while already, a new lock screen bypass on the latest version of iOS 10. So this one is incredibly easy, and you can access it from a completely locked phone on the latest version of iOS 10. So I will show you the entire process, but first I wanna show you guys I am on the latest version of iOS 10. It does work on iOS 10.1 beta 5, currently the newest version, so it's not something Apple has fixed. And the way this works is it's more of a back door. So if you've ever been inside of the iPhone, you can permit complete access from the lock screen as long as you have just a few seconds inside of the phone. So, you know, this isn't usable in like applications for hacking corporations or someone's phone that's very important. But if you're a suspicious spouse and you think he's cheating on you, you know, just grab the phone from him while he's around, just mess around for just a second. And then when he's gone and it's locked, you can get in. And I'm not trying to promote anything. This is just a security call that Apple needs to fix and I wanna show it how it's done so they can do that. So how is this done? It's done through the clock application and just like that you can get into your photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset it and start from the beginning. All right, so from an unlocked phone, you just need a few seconds in here, go into the clock application. In here, go into alarm, add another one and go to sound. So this is kind of funny that this bypass sort of existed in an earlier version of iOS 9 and Apple swept it under the rug. They never really, really patched uh, the whole issue. So if we go into label, you used to be able to select this and get share settings on this guy. Well, you can no longer do that. So Apple technically fixed it, but they didn't. If we actually go back in here and go to sound, now pick a song. And hey, lo and behold, another text field, which you can go ahead and select. Select all, and here are your share settings. So this is the golden key to doing this. So you want a message, uh, just type in any amount of words and click return, as long as it turns green or blue. Go ahead and just keep clicking on it until you go to the next page like this. And now select edit, edit right here, and choose photo. So you are at that page, now leave. That's it, you're done. And when that guy or whoever's phone it is locks it and you actually jump in from the lock screen, as soon as you click the clock application, it bleeds straight through into what you were looking at before. You can go as far back as going into the messages and you can leave it even here on the lock screen. So whatever you type here, once again, you'll be able to do this and go ahead and click on create new contact into the photos so we go so there it is guys and you can literally browse everything from in here so that's kind of crazy i think you can even browse contacts through uh, the messages page if you want to see all of the contacts of the phone and the last thing i'm going to show you is on the latest version of ios 10.1 i want to show you guys that this still works and apple has not patched it so uh, i'm gonna finish setting this up real quick. All right, so I just completed the update to beta five. As you guys can see, that's the latest build number. So uh, this does have a passcode. Let's try the same thing. Let's go into clock, alarm. Let's create a new one, do sound, and pick a song. Type any random thing here. Select all, share, message. And same thing, so we can just leave it here. And now when we go in from the lock screen and we jump in here, we have the same page, click on that, create new contact and choose photos. So we are in and it is working on the latest version of iOS 10.1. So guys, there is that. I think this is absolutely mad, the fact that it works and it should be something Apple is going to be fixing very soon. But for now, it is available. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.